it's obvious that they was looking for OG as a target. They searched her out. They picked her out. And if y'all don't see the colorism, um, Evelyn using the N-word, even though she is Afro-Latino and other stuff she did using the monkey imagery on Instagram or Instagram, I think it was, y'all are sadly mistaken. Shauna, ain't nobody stun you on your little colorism thing. You and um, Mr. Don't even much know how to direct his own reunion doing. Like Mr. Don't come back another season. Bring John Sally back. At least he was square, honest, say the truth, the whole truth. Didn't care whether you like it or not. At least John Sally did give us a variety. Is he didn't pick side because this is your show. He gonna let you run. Oh, we need John Sally back. I don't know where they got him back. I don't remember his name, but please don't bring him back for now another reunion. That was the same man that was on Little Women Atlanta. I think, or LA, one of them. But let's go ahead and get on into the Kristen and OG and this whole family secret thing. I'm glad you realize it now, Kristen, that the girls in this show in general was not your outlet to spray um, CC and Byron. You basically use your platform that you got on the right now. I'm glad you apologized. That apology didn't seem sincere in my heart, but we're going to let you have that. We're going to let you run with that. We're going to let you enjoy that. I don't believe it was sincere at all, but we're going to let you have that, and I'm glad you admitted that. You and CC couldn't have the talk y'all wanted to have because other people was interfering, including on that Costa Rica trip. Costa Rica trip. Y'all could not talk, even if y'all wanted to. And y'all was in another, what was it, a villa or a house? Trust me, that conversation was going to get interrupted. That was meant and set out the mess y'all conversation out. Y'all done tried several times to have this conversation and tried to make this work. That's why I also feel like the show kind of egged on y'all a relationship to make y'all hate each other because you got the girls over here and you got Malaysia over here trying to be peacemaker. You got Evelyn running behind Cece with a stick. She fell and bust her behind into the flower arm. Um, the little flower field, and then you got the whole interrupted with um OG and Kristen about the fight. Then you got CC don't want to be bothered. She in the bad space, everything going on. Why would I want to talk to you around this space and all that? Like, and hey, y'all want to have this conversation, just y'all too. Y'all should have just went out to lunch or had drinks or you should have invited her over there to your house or she should have came over there to the Byron, I mean, uh, Byron house and y'all should have had that conversation. That shows me right there where I say, and CC, I love you, that y'all a crock up and y'all didn't want this conversation to happen. Y'all don't want to get along long as y'all on this show. But I promise y'all, if y'all get off that show, y'all will have that important conversation that both of y'all need to have. That conversation was not going to happen on this show. I'm glad you realized that now. This conversation was not going to happen between you and Cece because somebody was going to have their input in it. Somebody was going to have to say something. Somebody was going to have to say, oh, but what about this? Oh, but what about that? No, this part. Not that part. This part. Like, that conversation wasn't going to happen on this show. And I'm glad you realize that now. Now that it's too late, that that conversation wasn't going to never happen. Between you and CC and y'all wasn't going to have that conversation. Because every time y'all try, like he said, I will give the Mr. Director of the reunion this point. Like he said, do you feel like it was always interference when y'all was trying to talk? Because y'all didn't try to talk for two, two seasons now. Y'all could never talk in silence. Just y'all two together to have that conversation, to get an understanding of each other, to see where both of y'all screwed up. I'm not just saying one of y'all. I'm saying where both of y'all screwed up. 
that conversation is not going to happen on this show. That's why I've been screaming and hollering ever since I heard about this conversation and ever since I saw this conversation. And I'm saying to end the parents, y'all need to get off this show and go work on y'all family because it's not going to happen on this show. That's why I've been screaming and hollering there ever since I see how y'all in the parent, how everybody got an in, uh, uh, um, uh, input, how everybody got an opinion, how everybody want to say something, how this one going to feel like this one and that one going to feel like this one and this going to happen like this and that happened like that and didn't happen like this. Like I said, y'all need to get off this show. If y'all want to have a chance to be a good family, we're not um a united uh, um a reunited front family. Y'all need to get off this show, cause it's not gonna happen. I told you, and I'm glad you realized that. Maybe you'll get your pink slips, and you'll go ahead and get off this show. Cause like I said, I think Byron and CC married now. You stuck with her until he divorced her, so you might as well get your happy behind out this show and go ahead and try to make it work. And don't come back next season with this mess again, because I promise you I'm going to ignore the living dog hell out of it, because I am sick of it. This is two seasons of y'all family drama. I don't even much care about y'all like that. I love Cece, but can't stand you. You want to seem like it's Cece, but it's you too. So, if that's all you got to offer us next season, um, Chris, that is your family drama. Just tell Shawna you quit. Find something else better to do. Go do Tammy. Go find you another job or occupation or something. But tell like you always busy when the cameras come to you or something. Go show us the fun side of you. Don't talk about your family drama, because that's all you got to offer us is your family drama. And like I said, I don't know how everybody else feel, but I don't give a, I don't. But anywho, though, let's move on to OG versus the other side. And this is where the colorism part of the episode come out. We only going to talk about a little bit of it, because we we ain't gonna be doing all that colorism stuff and y'all like i said y'all targeted og yeah she might call my strong aggressive like an onion but like like but like everybody saying where everybody with a brain cell saying og ain't put her hands on nobody or threw no drinks at nobody threw no tables at somebody um throwing bottles at people trying to fight somebody, but yet y'all criminalizing this woman and telling this woman she a wild boy, y'all need to put her in the cage. That was messed up how y'all did, OG and Shawnee. I got no more faith in you after watching you all these years and watching this show since Basketball Wise Miami from the first episode. I done lost all respect for you. I don't care. You gonna ride with your girl Sean. I mean your girl Evelyn, even if she wrong, right, or indifferent. You sit there like you ignore the stuff she do. Um, you let her do whatever the hell you want. This show brings out bullying, um, bullying and all that, colorism and all that. You wanna talk about colorism and bullying, look at Evelyn. Cause Evelyn have done and said a lot on this show. However, I must admit for the first time, this the first time in a long time, Evelyn ever, Evelyn ever got a worst edit, worst edit on this show ever. Besides when Ross was embarrassing her behind in Miami and the other girl was embarrassing her behind. This is the best time Evelyn, I think, she feel bad, feel sorry some type of way because she got plumped and embarrassed this whole entire season from the Jen situation to the OG situation, talking about that woman toes and all this and all that. Then you talking about the woman foot, you talking about the woman toes, you talking about the way the woman dress and all this and all that. I must admit, between OG and CC. You got embarrassed this season, Evelyn. 
Really, you did. If you go back and watch the season as a whole, the joke is on you. Just like the whole Chad thing, the joke is on you. Like I said, you can't straighten nobody but their own team. Like she said, um, Chad was coming at her. He was, she wasn't coming at him. I believe it was a both. I believe it was both ways. However, you trying to stray her with her DMs. Um, you got caught off guard by the day and when they actually did start talking, sound like it interfered or it was around when you was interested in Chad, so you left it alone. Now you talking about some you the victim, even though you and Phoebe introduced Chad to this show, and you introduced him and opened the door for him when you went and got that man DMs. Of course that man ain't gonna have no DMs or him being thirsty and oh i want to oh we oh you going to miami oh come to miami this weekend uh mm, 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 you walk good and i i make you walk funny and I, of course he ain't gonna have none of that like i said Elbly, you got sought up for the you got sought up for the ultimate fail this season really you did with the whole chat damn thing like you should have just left them DMs alone, baby, because it wasn't a good love. You trying to spray her talking about since she married, and y'all try to call her a hoe because she was, <coughs> oh, excuse me, dating Corny or whatever her Corny was doing, and then you trying to spray her trying to make it seem like she was thirsty for Chad, and they probably could have been thirsty for each other, but... You ain't getting no validations or no date of these DMs. Of course, Chad not on this show ain't got no involvement on this show. So, of course, he's not going to make himself seem thirsty. And he's going to give you everything to make her look bad and make not and uh, make himself look, make her look bad and not make him look bad. And then not to, like Evelyn, you embarrassed yourself this season. Like, really, you did. From the Toji come in, so corny. You 45 and still talking about somebody clothes, talking about somebody food, worrying about other people's clothes. Evelyn, there's more to life than somebody toe hanging out the side of their foot, somebody clothes and what they wearing and what they got on. But not you. This show have always brung out, out the ugly side of you. They, they say it's a pretty side of you, but I have yet to see it yet. I ain't trying to follow you on nobody's social media because I can't stand you. So I want to see that side of you. I want to stay with the ugly side from where I know you at from this show. So I ain't going to follow you on social media at that point in period. But yeah, Evelyn. From that, then the whole gin conversation. And if you play with them one more time for your big grown behind daughter talking about some, I carried her for nine months. And then you sitting up here on this show talking about her like a doll, even though you was her auntie. And how I supposed to feel about this and all. Girl, your daughter can care less about anything that's going on or being said about on this show. Why do you care so much? Either you want to be Jen friend or you don't want to be Jen friend. Which one is it going to be, Evelyn? Because remember, we didn't see your daughter. You asked her about this and what she said. Oh, and next. Oh, she said that. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I don't care. Your daughter can care less. Why the hell do you care so much? Like, you try to discredit Jen, even though Jen, if she did say that, it was messed up. That was last season. You can't run away with this this season. A woman didn't apologize to you about that. Now you sit up here still holding on to that. I carried my daughter for nine months. You don't talk about my daughter and all this and all that. Like, Evelyn, give it up. Like, you tried to reach the victim. The victim court wasn't available for you at the time. It always got the nod coming towards your hand. And you were just grasping for scrawls. Like, cut it out, Evelyn. In Malaysia, there's no defending throwing no table at Jennifer. I don't care what you say. When somebody push you to your core, you walk away. 
you move away from the situation that's going to make you do something that you're going to regret for the rest of your life. You don't sit there and throw a table and then say you basically deserved it because you said that and because you did this and all that. And as for that little situation with the whole um, Evelyn and her daughter situation, last time we checked before you threw the table at Jennifer, you inserted yourself in that situation. Well, I heard it too. You think I'm lying too? You inserted yourself in that situation. So, you inserted yourself into a situation. You want to be involved in the situation. Jennifer got under your skin and you felt justified enough to throw, to throw a table at her and you saying she deserved it because she made you mad and you angry and like a little child i get to do what i want to and jennifer should have had your behind arrested at this one because that was petty and that was dumb and that was a stupid answer to say you shouldn't have made me mad you should have stayed quiet you shouldn't have said this you shouldn't have said that and you went and got the table thrown at you but yeah, OG ain't throw no tables, OG ain't throw no alcohol, OG ain't throw no bottles, OG ain't charge nobody, but yeah, she sit in the separate room, but y'all help her sitting up there on the couch, though. Make that make sense, Shiny. You can't make it make sense, because them your girls, and you gonna be there, even if they do make you look dumb, you gonna sit there and defend them in a way as though, but Malaysia, nice try. You inserted yourself into that whole um, Evelyn and Jen situation. And then when you ain't get the response you wanted, trying to make Evelyn jump on that girl in Amsterdam, you basically got mad at her and threw the table after you sat there and calmed down Evelyn for Evelyn not jumping on that girl. Remember that? Because I remember it clearly. Because like they said, y'all weren't really no Amsterdam. Y'all was in California somewhere that looked like Amsterdam. So that's still a rumor if they was in Amsterdam for that scene or they was in California somewhere. So we just going to move along past that. Uh, we just going to say, Malaysia, you was dead ass wrong. And they going to tell her, you deserve it. Maybe next time you will shut up. Um, and as for the photos, Jen had the perfect answer for all y'all talking about some, she did this and she did that and she did that. Like Jen said, there's options. If y'all didn't want y'all photo taken, I don't want a photo taken. Just like I said, when that episode aired and y'all sat up there and nitpicked and sat up there and had a whole discussion about did she do this out of spite and malice? Did she do this to try to be petty? Did she do this to try to be funny? Like Jen said, you, if you don't want your photo taken at our event, when you see the camera being aimed at you, no photo. Don't take no photos of me. And you want me to sue you? I will sue the hell out of you. Take a photo of me. That's all you had to say. No photos. No, you see a camera? Oh, no photos. No, mm -mm. I don't want no photos taken. No, mm -mm. no photos. You was too good to say no photos. So that right there, y'all credibility is gone. Credibility is gone out the window there. But we just gonna move along. Um, Jack in that room with me, I think I'm not going there. But let's go ahead and get let's go ahead and get it on out of the way. Like I said before, Jackie, yeah, you kind of introduced a new cast member that we didn't get to see this season. Um, like I said, then when the rumor was coming out of now, whole skating ring incident where you and Malaysia almost fall, well, you and Malaysia almost got into it. Yeah, you should have went to Malaysia first and not sit there and hold on to that, going around the group and all that, talking about it and having a discussion with it. And like the um Mr. Man said, um y'all basically had a um a, a, um a rumor about somebody that's not on the show that y'all allowed to come on the show that supposed to have been Jackie Friend, but not really. And Kristen, Kristen. Sitting out there having a whole a whole full blown conversation about him, having a full blown conversation with him in her DMs. Show you she ain't got nothing else better to do with her time sitting out there talking to a stranger about Malaysia and her family and all that and her relatives and y'all 
y'all should have never introduced that man to that show and Jackie, you should have been careful what you said. You should have never mentioned it. You probably needed a storyline. You probably needed something to do. Uh, and that was the time when your son was graduating, so I'm pretty sure you was more. You didn't mean for it to happen like this, but it ended up happening like this. So, yeah. We being Jackie, they're going to be cool. Like... After even after all that they said, and basically Phoebe reaction was, um, Phoebe reaction was to Costa Rica when she was drunk. She said this normal for her to get drunk like that. So she said it was normal for her to get drunk like that. And basically, she didn't see Jackie till after the cancer event. So that's why she snapped that Jackie like that, drunk and all out of her mind and. Jackie called her a crack addict and all that other stuff. They're going to end up being friends again. Jackie crazy enough to convince that woman to be her friend all over again. Or they being cool again. Because they were about this close from her again. So they're going to end up being friends or whatever. So um, that's about it, y'all. About all I want to talk about. I'm glad this season over. Come harder next season, I'm guessing, Shawnee. Lee, um, we, well, Ed, Evelyn there, Phoebe there, Kristen gonna come back, of course, thanks to Malaysia. Um, I'm pretty sure CC done. We know OG ain't coming back. OG ain't coming back. Um, other than that, child, I have one with y'all with this reunion and the show in general. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. Bye.